Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Nicholas Lionrider, and today we are going to be going over all the news that's happened over the last two days. Um, and I must admit, it's technically a lighter, you know, day or so of news. Um, we did get one animal reveal, so uh, we'll go over that first, of course, as we always do. So the first animal that was revealed is the giant Malaysian leaf insect. So this is our exhibit animal that's going to be coming with the Southeast Asia Animal Pack. And I must say, it looks really, really good. Um, a lot of people didn't even know leaf insects were a thing. They knew about stick bugs, but they didn't know about leaf insects. And it's a uh, same family. It's just, uh, it's a bug that resembles a leaf. So, um, I know a lot of people wanted us to, um, you know, get something like King Cobra or whatever, but I actually think this is a really unique and a pretty interesting exhibit animal. Uh, I'm not sure how much it's going to move, to be honest. It's obviously a bug, so it might not move as much as some of the other exhibit animals. But um, it definitely doesn't look bad. Like, it definitely looks really, really high quality for, you know, what it is. Uh, it's funny because the leaf insect is much higher resolution than the actual leaf that they put it on. So that's kind of funny. And I've been seeing a lot of tweets and stuff. Um, I, I think it was... Was it Eben that made a really funny joke uh, that says, like, hey, I'd like to report a bug in your DLC. Um, so, yeah. Uh, but I, I gotta admit, like I said, it's it's a very good-looking exhibit animal. I'll have to see it in action once we, you know, get our hands on the DLC, of course. But uh, past that, that basically just kind of wrapped up our very first, you know, four animals revealed for this pack in the Animal Showcase. However... Uh, without any surprise, we have a brand new uh, poll that went up today, and that is to choose the next four animals. Now, I must admit, um, I'm I'm starting to question the legitimacy of these polls. So, the Binturong is definitely in the lead right now, and we'll get into that in a little bit, because I want to talk about that a bit. Um, which makes sense, because this is the only animal that has not been revealed at all out of all of the remaining animals. However, the Clouded Leopard isn't far behind, and that got considerable screen time. And I will admit that it's getting a bit suspicious in my opinion, looking at the Aquatic Pack, how the King Penguin won the poll. The Sun Bear was leading the poll for the first uh, Southeast Asia Pack for a while, and the Clouded Leopard is now neck and neck with the Binturong. So I must say it's a bit suspicious that the kind of like figureheads of these packs seem to be getting the most attention only because they are the ones that have been shown off the most. So even if you want to make the argument, oh, they're popular, that's the reason why people want to see them and stuff. I would still think that, you know, they would have been voting for the animal they haven't seen so far before they judge, you know, which is their favorite. Especially when, like I said, we've seen extensive footage of the Clouded Leopard, extensive footage of the Sun Bear, and like I mentioned before, going back to the Aquatic Pack, technically we got extensive footage, exclusive footage of the King Penguin for that pack, so it made no sense that the King Penguin won. So, uh, luckily, the Binturong is, uh, you know, winning currently. I don't want to, you know, say we have 20 hours left, so I want to address that. So... If I was to make predictions, and I've been making a lot of predictions lately, don't expect uh, another animal revealed today, so on the 24th. Maybe don't expect one tomorrow on the 25th either. If I look at my calendar, if I had to guess what they might be doing, and this is sort of based off of how they did the last poll, the animal, the dole in the, the case of the first poll, wasn't revealed until the day after that poll was completed. So if we have 20 hours left, this means that this poll is going to be running well into Thursday, Thursday the 25th, which means we might not get the, I guess, bin wrong in this case, revealed until the 26th. And then that would make a lot of sense to do Cloud Leopard on the 27th, Proboscis mon Monkey on the 28th, or sorry, uh, it's actually the Babarusa. Babarusa on the 28th, and proboscis monkey on the 29th with the reveal and um you know i guess launch of the pack on the 30th so uh don't be surprised if we might go about two days without any reveals um we could get the next reveal tomorrow and that'd be awesome i'll definitely cover that because i'm very excited about the bintron and uh speaking of 
Uh, let's talk about the Binturong, because I know this is a, a kind of contentious uh, animal uh, for a couple of reasons. Not that people don't want the animal, they definitely want it. We're really curious, I have a picture of a Binturong pulled up right now. We're curious how advanced we're going to get of a animal for, for this new pack. So people are kind of concerned that this could just be a literal retexture of the red panda. Now, looking at some of the other animals that we've seen from this pack, like the dole as an example, that doesn't seem to be the case. They seem to be putting into a lot of effort into making these animals really unique and high quality. However, people often like to cite Zoo Tycoon Ultimate Animal Collection, which was another game created by Frontier right before Planet Zoo, actually, um, that did literally use their Red Panda model as a base for the Binturong and literally just made it black. So I really, really hope that's not the case. And so people have kind of made these like pseudo conspiracy theories that the Binturong was either held off because it's the best, like they wanted to save the best for last, or they're holding it off because they want to bury it. Like it wasn't very good. And so they're, they're just kind of hiding it from everyone. Um, I'm leaning towards it's going to be really good though. I feel like Frontier has really proven with this pack that they're going really high quality with the animals. Again, I disagree with some of the choices they made with Tapir, but you know, one out of, I guess, the other six animals that we've seen look completely fine. So I, I have, I have, or uh, I guess six out of the seven animals <laughs> revealed look completely fine. So I'm really excited about the Benchrong. I think they're a really cool animal. Um, they do resemble a red panda for obvious reasons, but there are differences that I, I hope Frontier, you know, makes um, to kind of make it stand out and be unique. So the last things I wanted to mention uh, were a couple of things. So this isn't technically new news, but I did want to address it. So a lot of people, when they first saw the FlexiColor announcement, actually missed this little tab here. So we actually see what the UI is going to look like for our FlexiColor water. And what I found interesting, because I know a lot of people kind of completely glossed over this, is we are going to be able to change the color as well as the transparency. But what I also liked is they have preset colors already planned. So that could be really cool. So um, I think, uh, you know, as an example, they have the midnight color, which I think is this color right here, which is like kind of like a purplish. I think um, they're probably going to come come up with a few blue ass water style uh, presets, of course. And then my assumption is we will also be getting uh, some kind of fun colors. I think someone mentioned there could be like a gulpy uh, preset, which might make the water like green, like soda or something. And that could be really interesting. So that was just a little thing that, uh, again, like I said, a lot of people totally miss in the original post. And so I just wanted to kind of highlight it there. Um, the last thing that I want to mention is we got some updates on who will be our community manager, or in this case, managers, following Shantae's departure on the 31st, I believe she said? Yeah, 31st. So, uh, she posted this over on Bro Nation, and, uh, so if anyone's on Bro Nation, the Discord, uh, very, very popular Planet Zoo and Planet Coaster Discord, um, amazing stuff on there. Uh, Shantae actually kind of weighed in here and uh, specified that the rest of the team is going to be uh, looking at Planet Zoo. So Tim, Jens, and Jay are going to be our kind of co-community managers after Shantae leaves. So Planet Zoo is going to be without a uh, figurehead leader of Planet Zoo, but, you know, that will be, uh, we are going to be taken care of as far as, you know, tweets and updates and stuff of that nature. So that is it for, you know, what we've seen. Um, obviously, we'll have to keep an eye out on if the Binturong really does stay ahead. I really hope the Clouded Leopard doesn't, you know, sneak ahead, but because um, I really want to see this Binturong. But aside from that, uh, thank you all for uh, watching today's video. And like I said, once we get that final animal, I will keep you posted. So thank you all for watching, and I will see you tomorrow or the next day or maybe... Saturday or Sunday, who knows? Whenever the Bintrong's revealed. Bye, everyone.